suggest that you choose a darker wash jean um, that way wherever you bleach will show up a lot brighter and I just think of course if you're going from darker to lighter you're gonna have a better ombre effect as opposed to trying to bleach light jeans that are already light all right so the first thing you want to do is take a pair of jeans and you want to fold them the front halfway like this because that's where you're gonna start making your cut So once you have the jeans folded, you can go ahead and start making your cuts. Um, you can start wherever you want. Um, I'm going to start um, below the pocket on this side. But of course you can cut wherever you want to cut. So let's go ahead and start cutting. So um, just depending on how many inches you cut will depend on how big your uh, rips are in your jeans. And of course you can alternate. You can do like... Um, you can do like two inches and then one inch and two inches and one inch. It just really depends on what type of design you want to make with your ripped jeans. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. And of course, it's, it's kind of all up to you. You know, it doesn't matter how far apart you space them. It just depends on what design you want for your jeans. But... So like I said, I want them to be like super ripped, super big spaces. Um, yeah. So go ahead and cut it. And I kind of just stopped probably about five inches above the ankle. Again, it's your choice. However you want your ribs to look, however you want your jeans to look, it's your choice. This is just the method of, um, I'm just showing you the method of folding your jeans in half so that your um, cuts can be even. But like I said, you can do your cuts wider, you can do them shorter, just whatever design you want to do to make your jeans super original. So, you do the same thing to the other side. So you're going to take your jeans and you're going to fold them in half the front way like that and then you're going to start cutting them. I feel it all over my body, I feel it all over my body, I dream about you when I sleep, yeah, you're the one for me, you're the one for me, you're the one for me, you're the one And of course when you're cutting on the top section, like up in this area, don't cut too close because then like your underwear will show and I don't think you want that. So again, just kind of do whatever designs you want or, you know, I'm just kind of keeping it simple. But of course, you can, some people will like cut their whole knee part out because they like their knee part to be like completely out and you can do that. Just do whatever you want to do. Say that ever since the day that we laid eyes on each other, baby, baby, you're the one for me. You're the one, you're the one for me. Yeah. Make sure that they're even. Yep. It's just about even. Okay. Now cut all your rips in the front of your pants. These are up pretty far. I'm probably gonna have to wear like some spandex shorts or, or something. So now you have all of your rips. That little simple part is over. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and try my jeans on because I wanted to actually cut the knee part out. Um, and so I actually wanted to see exactly where the knee part was. 
Um, and so I'm actually going to cut the knees out. Just makes it a lot more dramatic. <laughs> um, and again, it's optional. So you can also do that on other spots. If you want like a really huge hole right here at the top, you can cut that out. It just kind of depends on how exactly, well, it just depends on where you want your cuts. So like I said, it's an easy little trick for the neat part. Okay. So your, so for your bleach mixture, what you're going to use is two parts water to one part bleach. So basically what that means is if you use two cups of bleach, you're going to want to use four cups of water. So I've already poured out my bleach into my cup. So this is two cups of bleach that I'm going to put into my bucket. This is just a little simple trash can that I got at the dollar store. So works out good. So then, of course, since I use two cups of bleach, I'm going to use four cups of water. And again, I'm doing this in my living room and I have the windows open um, to keep the area super ventilated. So that's two cups and then this will be four cups. So what I used was two cups of bleach, four cups of water. Now, a lot of people, when they are dyeing their pants, when they get in dyeing their pants, they're like yellow. So the secret to keeping your pants from being yellow is to just add two, two tablespoons of regular washing powder. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons to that mixture. Stir it around. There we go. So I want to I want to bleach my shorts down to where the open knee cut is, where I cut the little open knee part. Um, so of course, when you bleach your shorts, the water is going to kind of be an inch further than you think it will be, just because it, it the way the water soaks into the jeans. So um, you can go ahead and put your pants into the mixture. If you guys can see that, let me put my camera down a little more so you can actually see it. Okay, a little closer. Okay, so I'm actually going to let the pants soak down into the mixture. So, um, it's not gonna be perfect, which is cool. Um, I'm actually going to let my pants sit like this for one hour. I'm gonna go wash my hands too. So it has been 30 minutes. No, I said I was gonna check in an hour, but I just wanted to come out with my little butter knife and kind of check on it and smush down different pieces that I feel like need to be bleached a little bit more, make sure certain sections are under the solution. And we're gonna let it sit for another 30 minutes and check on it again. Rinse the bleach out of your pants. So then what you want to do is go ahead and get your um, apple cider vinegar. That's what I'm going to use. Um, you're going to fill up your sink and put two capfuls of apple cider vinegar in there. Okay, so after you add your two capfuls of apple cider vinegar, um, you can go ahead and fill your sink up. And the point of the apple cider vinegar is actually stops the process of the bleach. All the signs say that ever since the day that we laid eyes on each other, baby, baby. just kind of making sure the pants are saturated with apple cider vinegar mixture just going in and pushing the bleach out and making sure the apple cider vinegar is in okay so once you're done with this you can go ahead and put your pants um, through the washing machine and then you're gonna throw them in the dryer and that's it Baby, won't you come over 